Last time we got the CKI statistic 7.5 and now we wanted to find its p-value. And as I said, uh, for us to find the p-value we need to know the, the particular degrees of freedom and we said that degrees of freedom for our contingency table is uh, row minus 1 and column minus 1. And so now we have our chi statistic and our particular degrees of freedom. We can use the Excel to, to figure out uh, what the p-value is. And so here is our Excel with the chi statistic ready. I've been using this thing before, but but now uh, you can see that uh, my n value should change into the row minus 1 times uh, column minus 1 and we got it to be 2. So let, let me change this to degrees of freedom 2. And in this particular case, the only thing I need to change is this degrees of freedom to right there and I will click. Now what we wanted to find out is the, the probability of, of getting values of chi-square 7.5 or more extreme than 7.5. So that is, that is right here. That is right here. Let's color it yellow. Oops, just uh, color the, that thing there. Red. So if remember that that corresponds to left to right so we wanted to get the right value on the right part of the tail and and so we need to 1 minus the probability value and forget the equal sign 1 minus the probability value of that so the probability of getting a chi statistic 7.5 or lower in the distribution of no effect is 2% but you can see that that chi still came out and let's just write down the the p-value of, of getting a chi statistic of 7.5 or or more than 7.5 is uh, is equal to 0 0.02 the probability is fairly low but still it happened and hence we need to reject we need to reject the 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 null hypothesis that the program has no effect in favor of the in favor of the alternative hypothesis and hence programs has an effect has an effect with with, res, with compared to the distribution that has no effect so either program 1 or program 2 has an effect but we don't know which one has an effect but we can say that comparing program 1 to no program and program 2 to no program both programs has an effect